Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Warrior Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just infiltrated and eliminated Darth Vengeance, and we have now returned to Darth Barriss's office. So, let's head on in and see what the next stage of our plan is going to be. But, uh, yes, I'm not entirely sure whether he's going to... I don't know, Darth Vengeance seemed to not speak very highly of Barriss, so maybe we're going to be seeing a darker side of him. <laughs> oh, a darker side. He tortured a lot of people. Look upon me, apprentice. You have never seen me so pleased. And look around these chambers one last time. The humble trappings of yesterday. With our dismantling of Darth Vengeance complete, I assume his seat on the Dark Council and return to Korriban. Have our efforts propelled the Council toward full-scale war? Indeed. Plan Zero and Vengeance's doomed attempt to claim the Fringe Worlds have triggered war. The Treaty of Coruscant is no more. We ascend together, Apprentice. Only our combined strengths can propel us to the height of power. Ah, the third side of this triumvirate arrives. Lord Drog, welcome home. It's been a long time, Master. I'm ready to join the front line. Together, we will be an unbeatable force. Yes, all the pieces are in place now. Now that I'm on the Dark Council, we are perfectly positioned to bring the Republic to its knees, to shape the galaxy as we wish. Go and enjoy this victory, my apprentices, but be ready for my call. I will not sit idle long. Alrighty, okay, well that's perfectly that's, that's, that's perfectly good, I suppose. I was expecting maybe a little bit more than that, but Declaration of War is our next port of call, I suppose. So let's let's just open this box up. Ah, yes, that's a thermal focus. Why am I getting a focus? I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, that is for a Sith sorcerer or something, I think? Well, that's kind of a bit weird. Okay, so there's, there's what we're currently using there, so I suppose... Yeah, I, I don't really need to worry about that, do I? I can give Vet this incriminating evidence. Wow, I love it. Oh, there we go. She likes that. Very nice. Okay, so yes, otherwise we will be, well, I suppose quick traveling back to our ship and seeing what the next stage of the plan is going to be. Obviously, now that Barris is on the Dark Council, we should be, well, we should have a lot more power, surely. I mean, surely, considering our master has a lot more power, that would transfer over to the apprentice having more power, and so on and so forth, which would actually be kind of nice. But, obviously, wait, wait, let's have a look here. Okay, so we, we still do not have, we still do not have an additional title. So I suppose we might be promoted to Darth very soon, who knows? Apprentice, it is customary to bow when in the presence of a member of the Dark Council. Yes, my master. Rise, my faithful servant. We are at war. The Dark Council has placed me in charge, and battles are being waged across the galaxy. You and Lord Drog will oversee the most crucial confrontations. Drog is already deployed, and now I shall unleash you. Whatever it takes, Master, I will win this war for the Empire. Our task will be much more difficult if you fall, my apprentice. We've caught wind of a secret plot on the planet Quesh that could win the planet for the Republic. The conflict for resources on Quesh remains the most important of the French systems. This Republic plot must not succeed. It will be my top priority. Commander Olian will brief you. He awaits your arrival at the Forward Command Center on Quesh. I find myself nostalgic, sending my most prized apprentice off to war. This is the culmination of everything we've done. More greatness awaits us, Master. Indeed, my friend. I bid you farewell. Wait a minute. He doesn't usually say farewell. That seems a little bit... Is that is it is that a little bit for a little bit of foreshadowing right there? I don't know, but anyway, we're gonna be heading on 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 on. <laughs> yes, I've now turned into one of the races of Star Wars, and I'm going to speak and say every word twice, of course. So, 
Oh no, that's that's difficult. Difficult. Ah, uh, nah, I can't do it. Anyway, let's travel to Quesh and speak to Commander Olian then. I'm actually kind of surprised that he's... Why did Darth Barris say... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm kind of a bit weirded out that he said, my friend. Ooh. Okay, well, that's, that's kind of cool though. That's kind of cool. But every time you get a little bit too close to one of your superiors, something sort of bad happens. So I'm a little bit worried about that. But maybe, maybe we can... Well, shape the galaxy as we see fit, and, well, head on from there. I have actually missed riding on Jeff for the past few episodes because usually, you know, it's just like, okay, so we're going to take a speeder, and we're going to quick travel, and we're going to take our ship, and then we're going to walk around on Drummond Cast. But this time, we actually did get to ride him a little bit, which was actually kind of nice. Anyway, here's Commander Olian, and he is, oh, he's using a a respirator? Shouldn't, shouldn't we have one? Shouldn't Vet have a respirator? I mean, we have a mask, so maybe that has a built-in one, but... Oh, well, anyway, let's see what Commander Olian has to say. Commander Olian, I am here on Darth Barriss's order. Bring me up to speed. Not a minute too soon. All indications are that the enemy has been ready to strike for some time. If my reports are correct, they have us dead to rights. I'm thankful they've hesitated this long. They'll regret not seizing the opportunity. They may yet if we don't hurry. An elite Republic task force has found a cavern that tunnels beneath this command center. They've set explosives that will destroy the center and disrupt all Imperial military operations and communications on the planet. Tell me where to go and I will end this threat. I sent what soldiers I had to search the cavern, but the survivors returned with blaster burns for their efforts. Here are rough coordinates of our best guess. Good luck. Hmm, okay, well, an elite task force from the Republic. That sounds like a rather fitting task for, well, Darth Barriss's apprentice, I guess. Lord Zanin is on the way. Okay, so we have arrived to the phase. As you can see, I've taken a little bit of damage, but obviously that's just because Vet is, well... Not healing me, obviously, but yes, I think that might actually be kind of cool to try and see whether we can actually survive this with a damage vet instead, because then we're going to have to use a couple more abilities to actually survive here, so I can't just focus on dealing straight up damage, so I have to be a little bit more selective with the use of my abilities. So we'll be using our force choke a little bit more as well as probably this. Saber Ward is probably a good idea as well, considering we're going to be fighting this strong unit in just a second too. And there's a nice force choke to prevent him from attacking us while we ravage his body. Yes, there we go. Very nice. And there seems to be a bonus mission as well. Well, that's that's not that's not particularly good, is it? No, it's not particularly good, but I suppose it's okay. I'm going to try and use my ability that reduces all of the damage I take for a certain period of time. And hopefully I won't die. <laughs> hopefully I won't die. Yes, there we go. That's, that's my sentiment. That is my sentiment in this area. Hopefully I won't die. All right, so we are here with the last remaining forces in this mine. Yeah, it is a mine. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's pretty good to know at least. And I am using my force choke on this fellow because he actually has some healing abilities that I don't really want him to employ against us. So wait a minute. Is there anyone else? Ah, there's that fellow. Let's take him out. I'm a little bit worried that we actually... Oh, uh, yes. That we actually have to fight that guy over there. If we have to fight that guy over there, I might actually have some problems because just used my Cloak of Pain, which does reduce damage taken by 20%. So if we have to fight this guy, it might be a bit of a problem. But I think... We can put our faith in Vet to actually be extremely good with her abilities, so don't really have to worry about that. And let's now see what these Republic scoundrels have to say. Has our mysterious problem been solved? Are we active? Sir, best guess is yes. All systems appear to be online. Your detonator should be live. Then let's pack up. We'll blow this cabin on the Imperial Command Center sky high. You're not going anywhere. Too late. We've been discovered. Stow it. We knew this was a possibility. Sith, I'm prepared to detonate even if it means we all die. You've just wandered into your own funeral. Throwing the switch! What? No, come on, detonate! Detonate! Ugh! Today is not your day. Men, this mission is everything. It will win Quest for the Republic. We will be immortalized as heroes. I order you to hold off the Sith while I reset the detonator. 
There will be no detonation. Uh, okay. In my humble opinion, this mission is a bust. We... We'd like to just leave now, please? Get out of my sight before I kill you. Leaving! Well, well, well. Well done. Mission accomplished, eh? The threat is over. There never was a threat, friend. Captain Trayan was sent here by one of Barris's Republic moles. The explosives he set up were not wired to the captain's detonator. I have the real detonator. An elaborate trap for you. So, Barris is stabbing me in the back. Our master prides himself on being one step ahead of everyone. That includes you. He knew someday you would rise against him. You were his fiercest. I consider it a privilege that he's allowed me to pull the trigger. Be a man and face me in the flesh. While the thought of personally beheading you is a delight, we're leaving nothing to chance. Barris sends his regards. Goodbye. Interest justified. Shall I revive? Offer no help. We must be sure. His worth will be established by surviving the trek to safety. We will wait at the command center exactly one day for our proof. Or what, what? What? What was that? Okay, so yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Apparently, my judgment, <laughs> my judgment was incorrect in the previous episode. I was like, oh yes, Lord Drag seems like a very okay person, a very okay person. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of thing. I, I kind of got a bit of a weird thing from him, but I thought, okay, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt. But obviously, considering he's a Sith, cannot really give him the benefit of the doubt in this case. So, I'm going to have to head on out here. I actually wanted to complete the bonus mission. I'm actually unsure where the other demolitionist was. Oh, well, okay, never mind. I must have missed it. But anyway, Barris betraying us, really? He said... My friend! Come on, now that's kind of sad, but I suppose he did... He is a Sith as well, and he just wants to kill basically anything, so... I guess that's fine, isn't it? Because we're alive, and we're, we're okay, so... I'm gonna quick travel back to the Imperial base, oh uh, yes. But what, what's going on with Servant 1 and Servant 2? Is, is that what they were called? I, I... well, I don't even know, but... We're gonna find out very, very shortly by us traveling to the Imperial Forward Command Center. Well, this is becoming quite a familiar route to us, isn't it? Yes, we're having to walk over here on Jeff. Well, it's, it's, pre it's pretty fine because, I mean, just look at him. He just jumps in such a joyful way. I really like that. But anyway, where do we have to go? Ah. In this phase. Okay, so... How am I going to play this? I don't even know who these people are. I guess we will find out. And, of course, I would turn the wrong way initially. Fantastic. Okay, so I guess we're going to go on some... Righteous vengeance against Barris, or are we? Let's find out. We are impressed. You are worthy to be the Emperor's wrath. You've got to the count of three to explain yourself. We are your ally, friend. Look on me. I am Servant One. This is Servant Two. We are the Emperor's Hand. The Dark Council runs blind. We alone oversee the Emperor's will in the galaxy. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We sampled the Wrath some time ago. 
The Emperor tasks the Hand with a great undertaking, and you are to become his wrath. Darth Barriss seizes power against the Emperor's wishes. He must be stopped. All of my resources are dedicated to Barriss's destruction. The betrayer has motivated the wrath. Since the Treaty of Coruscant, the Emperor has withdrawn from the known galaxy, preparing for a great calling. Barriss learned of this and now claims the Emperor speaks through him. If the Dark Council declares him the voice of the Emperor, he will have supreme power over the Empire. What is the voice of the Emperor? The voice is the conduit for the Emperor's words. The Emperor chooses one being to physically embody. This being is the voice. It is obeyed as the Emperor himself. But the true voice has been silent. And in its absence there is nothing to deny Barriss's claim. Some on the Council truly believe. Others see an advantage in supporting him. And Barriss plots against those who oppose him. Am I to defend those who defy him? Eventually. The wrath must build before reaching pitch. Your crew awaits you at your ship. They have been informed of these developments. Varus means to force the Council to bow, but he believes you to be dead. That is our advantage. Return to your ship, and we will advise you what can be done to thwart him. Oh, what? What? Wow, wow that is amazing. That is really, really cool. Oh wow, I really love the Emperor. I know that <laughs> I know that he's an enemy technically, but yeah, I'm not giving any spoilers about what happens in Knights of the Fallen Empire or anything, but yeah. I it, for those of you that have seen, I really actually like a specific character in that. But anyway, we now have to use our ship's holder terminal, but for now I will be ending this episode of here, and next time we will find out what is actually going on with Servant 1 and Servant 2 and how we can help them in their quest to silence Barris. So I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.